Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild, and yesterday it finally happened. We ended up hitting 50,000 subscribers live on stream, and I gotta say, I never would have ever expected for the channel to get to this point, and it's all thanks to all of you amazing people that watch the streams and watch the videos every single day. I really do appreciate each and every one of you, and I, I've kind of already said that in a couple of the previous videos leading up to this one, but I just had to mention it again since we did finally hit that 50k sub goal and honestly it's just incredible to think about and are you kidding me well that's a good way to start things out especially considering this video is about our 50k subs diamond that we ended up getting uh, literally a few minutes after we hit 50k uh, but now we've got another one to go after so I should probably take this guy down too now I don't know if this guy actually will be a diamond it kind of looks like it might be a troll just based off of what we're seeing right now, I think that does have a chance of being a troll, but this is literally the first multiplayer server I jumped into, and it's the first place that I've checked, and we've got ourselves a diamond right there. That right there is the 50k luck, and I can't believe we've got another one of these, because the uh, trophy that we actually ended up getting for our 50k subs diamond was a diamond blacktail deer, and we will be taking a look at that guy a little bit later, but uh, I guess we're starting out with another diamond. And you know, the crazy thing is, this probably would not have even been the video that I was posting today if it wasn't for the fact that I had that video file get corrupted from my uh, power going out. I probably would have been posting a lever action video on Silver Ridge Peaks today, but instead we're posting a video about our 50k diamond, which I feel like that is a little more fitting since we did just hit that milestone. And now because I was going to do that video, we just took down another potential diamond. Honestly, things just work out in your favor sometimes, and this is definitely one of those situations where everything is just working out perfectly the way that we would want it to. And this guy right here is hopefully going to be a diamond blacktail. Let's take a quick look at him. I think he's got a chance, but those tines on the back do look a little bit short. If he makes it, he'll be very low scoring. Well, let's go ahead and see, is he a diamond? Yes, he is, 180.60. That is just amazing. The icing on top of the cake. A second diamond blacktail in two days. That is awesome. And that's actually a pretty good tip-to-tip -tip spread for a diamond blacktail. This is a pretty decent one. 180.60 is not bad for the small rack. Not bad at all. This has just been a crazy couple days for blacktail hunting. I really don't know what to say. It just in general, it's been a crazy couple days between hitting the 50k sub milestone and getting two of these guys. This has just been crazy. So with our 50k celebration week coming up very soon, starting on Monday, I think it's about time we go over what games we will be playing during those streams, and for those of you that do not know what we're doing, basically we're going to be doing five five-hour live streams, one each day for the entire week of uh, this next week. And we're going to be playing Call of the Wild along with one other game during each of them. And this is the order we're going to be doing it. So first up, we're going to be doing Call of the Wild and Bigfoot on Monday. Then on Tuesday, we will be doing Call of the Wild and The Hunter Primal. On Wednesday, we will be doing Call of the Wild and The Forest. And then the last couple days, we will be doing The Hunter Call of the Wild and Phasmophobia. And then the very last day will be The Hunter Call of the Wild and Seven Days to Die. So it's going to be a jam-packed week. And essentially, we're going to be doing about half of each stream as Call of the Wild. And then half of the stream will be the other game. I'm excited for it. It's been a while since we've done some longer live streams. And I figured this would be a perfect way to celebrate 50k subs. It's it's going to be a lot of fun and I hope to see you guys stopping by some of those streams. I haven't figured out what time I'm going to start the streams each day. It's most likely going to start around 2 to 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, but uh, we'll see. I also did want to mention that this is not the only 50k celebration video that we're going to be doing. This one is merely happening because of the fact that we did end up getting some cool stuff on our 50k live stream and I just had to show it to you guys. But there is also going to be a 50k celebration video where we go over some of the coolest trophies that we've killed on our two years of being on YouTube. 
And I gotta say, there's quite a bit of awesome stuff that's going to be included in that video, including some stuff that you guys may have never seen before on the channel, so stay tuned for that. That will be coming. It's just gonna be a little bit later than what I would have uh, wanted, simply because of the fact that we ended up moving during this time, and also because it's a decently long video to create, but it's going to be worth it. I promise you guys, it will be an awesome video. You know, I still just can't get over the fact that the channel has hit si such an insane number of 50,000 subscribers and to a lot of people that may not seem like a lot of subs, but as somebody who primarily does content on the Hunter Call of the Wild, that is honestly an insane number and it's all because of you guys. We never would have been able to make it to this point without each and every one of you that decides to watch the videos and subscribe to the channel. I honestly can't thank you guys enough for all of the amazing support that I've received over these last couple years and just the positive support for everything that I do has been incredible and I honestly just cannot thank you guys enough. There's really no words that I could use to fully express the amount of thanks that I have for you guys and just how incredibly lucky I honestly think I am to be able to make content like this for you all each and every day. It truly is just a dream come true. Ever since I was a kid, I wanted to be able to do YouTube and uh, be able to share my adventures with an audience. And the fact that I'm able to do that and call it a job at the same time is just incredible. They say that you never work a day in your life if you enjoy what you're doing, and that really is the case for me. I can't thank you guys enough for all of the crazy support that has got us to this point. It truly just is incredible to think about, so from the bottom of my heart, guys, thank you so much for all of the amazing support and everything that you guys have allowed me to be able to do here on the channel. It truly is just a dream come true. Failed to synchronize. I honestly cannot wait until this is fixed. I really hope it gets fixed in the next update because this is probably one of the most annoying things currently in the game. Uh, but honestly, you know the game's in a pretty decent state when this is one of the most annoying things. So that, I guess, is a positive. Also, I guess while I'm thinking about it, I should probably mention this to you guys since this video is going to be up a little bit later than what I typically like to upload videos. So, between all of the stuff relating to moving into a new place and getting my new setup all put together and uh, stuff like that, unfortunately, I've been having a really rough time getting videos out on time. It's unfortunately just been part of moving. It's one of those things that you really don't expect it to be as difficult to keep on schedule as it is, and then once you actually get into a new place and try to balance out the normal schedule along with getting the actual place set up, you quickly start to realize that it's not as easy as you thought and that's kind of what's happened here. I thought that I'd be completely set up and ready to go within a couple days and well as of now we are closing in on a week and I still am just barely getting towards the end of everything being fully set up uh, setup wise and also just like the house in general so it has been quite a rough balance trying to balance out the content and also my IRL stuff relating to getting the house set up but it looks like we're almost finally done setting things up. I've got my recording area set up the way that I like it for the most part. I am still waiting for a larger desk to arrive in the mail, but that's not going to be here until early May. So it is going to be a little bit before I have to worry about changing things around again. As of now, I think this is the setup that we're going to be using for the next couple weeks, which means hopefully I'll be able to get videos out on time the next few days. That's going to be the goal at least. This one's going to be a bit late, but... Hopefully the next few videos will actually come out at 12 because that is typically when I upload is 12 Pacific Standard Time and recently I've been getting uploads out at like 12.30 or 1. It's been rough but we're going to try our best to get back on our normal schedule soon. Well I suppose since we have not shot one this video, let's go ahead and take out this bear right here. And wow that thing instantly dropped. What did I hit? That had to be like some crazy stomach, liver, double lung, heart, spine shot or something like that. I don't typically see a black bear drop like that unless it was a heart shot. I'm curious what we even hit. That was actually kind of crazy just how quickly it dropped. Wow, okay, so it was vertebrae, spine, and lungs. That's wild. 
I mean, I guess we were only 44 meters away, so it probably did hit a little bit high considering I was zeroed for 150, uh, but it is what it is. You know, seeing all these ducks out on the lake really just makes me want that waterfowl rework as soon as possible because this is pretty much the normal anytime you're out here on Leighton Lakes. All the ducks are just chilling on a lake like this and it would really be nice to have them act a little bit more realistically. Currently in Call of the Wild, the only time they fly is when they're traveling to a new need zone and that only happens a couple times a day. I honestly can't wait for the waterfowl rework and by the sounds of it, it seems like it will be coming somewhat soon, like maybe within the next couple months. So that would certainly be an awesome thing to see come to the game and we already know that it is going to be coming this first half of the year. I really feel like it will be within the next couple months, maybe even within the month, but I'm super excited for it regardless of when it ends up coming to the game. It'll be a great addition to Call of the Wild. You know, if you keep trying, eventually you'll end up hitting a shot, and that was definitely the case there. But since we have just taken down a mallard, I think it's about time we take a look at the two diamonds we ended up getting during our 50k celebration stream. Well, it wasn't really a 50k celebration stream, but the stream where we were hitting 50,000 subs. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Now I did forget to remove the sub counter off of the recordings. Basically Streamlabs has an option where you can toggle it to where it only shows on stream or only shows on videos or shows on both and I forgot to turn it to stream only so there will be a sub counter like in the bottom middle of the screen but uh, I did remember to remove it like halfway through but let's go ahead and jump into the two highlights from that stream. This makes it a good day. We got ourselves a good day right here. Good day to you, Sir Blacktail. You mind stopping for me so I can put a bullet in you? Decent level 3 moose too. Um, we gotta figure out how we can get this guy to chill out. Where is he? Where is he? There he is. I think that's small rack. I'm pretty sure that's small rack. Come on, go broadside. Come on, man, go broadside. Don't don't chill like that. I need you broadside. I I don't want to take this shot. Oh my gosh, we got it. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Please don't troll. Please don't troll like 90% of your brothers do. I just realized I forgot to make the um, the 50k sub counter not show up on recordings. So that's going to show up on that recording. Well, that's just fun. There, I, I switched it to be only visible on stream. That's better. Well, unfortunate, but we'll, we'll take it. It's still cool. At least it'll show that it's our first diamond after 50k. Come on. Can you make diamond? It's a diamond, 180.50. I think that's actually about as big as they can get with uh, the small rack. I think this is about as big as they get with small rack. Not too bad, not too bad. That's a good scoring one for the small rack. Not bad. That, uh, that scared me for a second, but it looks like we're actually good. Nice little double lung, 258 meters. 308 doing the trick as always. Oh yeah, Call of the Wild's just got a way of, like, timing things so perfectly to where, like, if you didn't have it on video, nobody would believe you that it happened that way. The second we hit 50k, diamond. It just worked out. That's just how it is with Call of the Wild. Things just work out. Absolutely love it when uh, Call of the Wild timing happens. Howdy! How's it going, little duck? I think it's about time we loop around and uh, try to take this guy out. That's awesome. We got ourselves a little duck here. Let's get the 22 Hornet out and try our best to not be bad. But that's going to be difficult knowing me and ducks. This should be our second diamond of the day, so that's awesome. We got a diamond blacktail and now we got a chance at getting a diamond duck here. 
just hope this goes well. Okay, guys, I'm gonna do something that you should never do. I'm gonna purposely spook this duck. Because I needed to get out of that little dip it's in. Like, that's just not a good spot for it to be in. And there's no way I can get that reliably. Don't do this at home. Do not do this at home. I don't recommend. But we're gonna do it just because. Zero to 150. We're gonna make things interesting. Oh, that's, ow. Okay, that's not the interesting I meant. Don't worry guys, I'm a trained professional. Don't worry guys, I'm a trained professional, I promise. <laughs> I promise. Change of plans. Oh my god. Gosh! Not gonna lie, I got a little scared there. <laughs> you guys spoke too soon. That wasn't duck aim. We got him. That was planned from the start. Uh, yeah, yeah, I meant to do that. That was totally 100% to plan. Did not almost lose that thing, I promise. I meant to miss it. 20 times and then hit it at the end right when we thought we were going to lose it to make a clutch moment. Yep. That's what we meant. And uh, there it is. A 19.6. It just barely made it too. It just barely made it. That wasn't even like that big of a diamond. Oh my gosh. 196 kgs. This was almost a troll. That was almost a troll duck. Okay, wow. This is the lowest scoring diamond duck I've ever killed. That's actually kind of cool though, I'm not gonna lie. I've never had a duck score this low or weigh this little and still make diamond. You know, it's not every day now where we put something in this main lodge that isn't either just our biggest of that species, a really nice rare, or just something generally incredibly rare. But today is one of those exceptions where we do put something else in this lodge, and that is this blacktail right here. This was the one that we got shortly after hitting 50k subs, and because of the fact that it was our first diamond after 50k subs, it gets a place in this main lodge. As you could imagine with such a crazy milestone, and having a diamond just a few minutes after hitting that milestone, we had to include this guy in the lodge. There was no way that I was going to let him go into one of the backup lodges. Because this truly is just a crazy, crazy encounter that we had where you never would have expected it to happen so quickly after hitting 50k, and then it did, so this guy gets to be immortalized in our main lodge for, well, the rest of time. But anyway guys, I think we're gonna go ahead and end the video there. Once again, thank you all so much for getting the channel as far as it's gotten. I honestly just can't thank you guys enough, and it still really doesn't feel real. But we've got those five 50k live streams coming over the course of this next week, starting on Monday. So I hope to see you guys in some of those. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're maybe even going to have a couple special guests, which will be pretty awesome. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click that like button, and ring that notification bell. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace!